What's going on everybody, Super Tom here and as we've all known, Genshin Impact 2.6 will go live in a few weeks and we're all probably wondering how many Primo Gems do we expect to get from this patch. Some of us may be saving for Ayato or Ventis but other may be after Ayaka or some other future characters. Or you may be a part of a small percentage of people who are waiting for some weapon banners. No matter which categories you fall into, this video will help you gauge out an estimate as to how much Primo Gems you will be able to save in patch 2.6. Quick disclaimer before we begin guys, is that any amount of Primo Gems that will be estimated in this video will be purely prediction and it's not an exact amount you will be getting in any way. For the majority, the event Primo Gems calculation will be based on past data to help us get a close estimation as much as possible. Now if you're someone who feels like you're always missing out on Primo Gems, which all of us actually do at some point, then what I am doing Doing is that we're currently having a character giveaway on the channel. There will be a chance for you to win any character of your choosing, either Ayato, Ayaka or Venti. So if you're interested in that, be sure to participate. How you can enter is pretty simple, you just have to be subscribed to the channel, turn on your bell notification and join our discord server where the giveaway will be held. And with that, let's jump into the video. So we're going to be start calculating how many primos you'll be getting during the first phase of patch 2.6. Six, so that if you're planning to go for Ayato, you will have an idea of how much you'll be getting. Assuming you've got the redeem code from the live stream, you will start with the base amount of 300 Primo Gems. Next is on the first day of the update, you'll be getting 3 Primos for the updating and another extra 300 for maintenance, adding you a total of 900 Primo Gems. The Stardust and Star Glitter Shop reset on the 1st of April. Assuming you have enough Stardust to buy 5 Intertwined Fate, that will be an equivalent of 800 primos which brings us to a current total of 1700 primos if you do and collect all your daily commissions for the whole of the first phase you would get 1200 primo gems from that which brings us to a total of 2900 primo gems and doing both ayato and venti's trials would give you 20 primos for each meaning you get 40 and that gives you a total of 2940 primo gems the spiral abyss during patch 2.6 you will actually get three resets during the whole of patch 2.6 but for the first phase you will be getting two because first there will be one at the start of april and the other will be on the 15th of april and assuming you're able to clear the whole of the abyss that would get you a total of 1200 primo gems making it a total of 4140 primo gems till now the new quest which includes the new archon quest and along with ayato quest as well as the new chasm area that would give you roughly a thousand primo gems or a bit more depending on how much chest farming you end up doing in the chasm. Getting the chasm's area achievement done together with finishing both the new Archon and Ayato story quest. So adding that 1k to the total gets us 5140 primo gems. And if you're still doing the Hojo lab daily check-in as usual, you will be getting an extra 60 primo gems from that, getting us a total of 5200 primo gems. And finally, we have the Primo Gems amount from the new events. Currently from patch 2.6, there are 4 events that were planned and assuming on the first half we will be getting 2 events and based on past data, generally you get around 420 Primo Gems from each event. That would add up to a total of 840 Primo Gems from the 2 events. Adding that to the total, you get 6040 Primo Gems. So for our final amount on the first phase Primo Gem count, you will be getting roughly over 6,000 Primo Gems depending on how many stars you get in the Abyss and how many chests and achievements you've completed. And with that, it is safe to say that you will probably get around 40 to 50 pools during Ayato's banners. For the second phase of the banner, we'll be starting with a base of 1,200 Primo Gems from your daily commissions. Next, we'll be once again having a May 1st shop reset, getting you another 800 Primo Gems from the 5 into find fates converted and then there's also going to be ayaka's trial that gives you an additional 20 primo gems the spiral abyss will be reset one more time and again assuming you get all full stars you will be getting 600 from there and also there will be our last two events of the patch which once again assuming you get 420 primo gems from each that will be an 840 primo gems from the two events and then once we've reached close to the end of patch 2.6 there you will have an 
additional 300 Primo Gems from 2.7 patch livestream update, which if you now add up everything together, you will be getting roughly 3,320 Primo Gems. And so, if you haven't used your Primo Gems from the first phase of patch 2.6, you would actually get around 10,000 Primo Gems, which should get you around at least 63 wishes. Also, we haven't taken Walkins into consideration, so if you do get Walkins throughout patch 2.6, you will have an additional of at least 3,600 Primos or an equivalent of around 25 wishes. Which again, I do recommend you try to have Walkins as always because it's pretty cheap and it does get you quite a lot of Primo Gems overall. Now guys, those are just a rough estimate of Primo Gems prediction. As I've mentioned above, the numbers of Primo Gem predicted especially on the event and the custom area are based on past data. I have a feeling that we'll be getting a lot more Primo Gems from the main event because because there, it's what I believe to be an Inazuma signature regional event. And the Chasm can potentially get us more rewards than what we are having right now. So guys, I hope that I have been able to help you get an idea of how much you will be getting in Pack 2.6 to help you plan out your character pools. I wish you good luck on the pools. And then again, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and join our giveaway for a chance to win Ayato. With that, I wish you a super day and I will catch you on the next video.